Hey guys, this is a fic. Uh, in the last episode, we have set up View Router for our front end navigation, uh, View X uh, to manage our store uh, to have state between components. And uh, we have a new file for routes called routes.js. It will store all the routes we need for our application. In this episode, we're going to create a new database for our app. Uh, we'll create a table for customers, uh, another one for users. We'll also start working on the JWT authentication. Um, so just let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have the npm run watch command in the background. Uh, so if we are going to do any changes in our uh, JS file, it will just uh, recompile and will give us uh, this notification right here. Okay, so let's go into our application. Um, the first thing I would like to do is to connect into my local uh, MySQL. Um, I do have an SQL installed in my computer, so I can do my SQL and my user is root and I have no password. Uh, let's create a database called um, view SPA DB. Um, create data <laughs> database. Okay, we can exit out of this one. Great. Okay, now that we have database, we can go to our .env file in our project and let's see host is localhost uh, the port is the same database is going to be view spa db uh, the username is root and i have no password next let's create a table for customers let's do uh, php artisan make migration i'm going to call it create create customers table and i would like to create a table called customers Okay, let's visit this file and I need one column for the customer name. It will be a string. Another one for email, phone, and let's do a website. Now I think we can go ahead and migrate our database. So PHP Artisan Migrate. Let's go ahead and visit SQL Pro to make sure we have our database set up. Uh, local MySQL, my database is view SPA DB, and we do have users, password resets, and customers. Great, um, the next step will be to install our JWT authentication. And I'm gonna use this package called JWT auth. Um, you can use any other library if you want to, but I found this one to be uh, the nicest implementation and the best API. So the first step will be to install Composer. Uh, not to install Composer, to install the package through Composer. Uh, so let's do that. And once it's over, we won't need to um, give it the provider uh, inside our config app file because in 5.6, uh, if you have a package that supports um, the new uh, Laravel way of including composer packages, it will just pick it up automatically and use the service provider from the package. Okay, so now that it's done, we can do uh, PHP artisan JWT uh, secret. I believe that's the command. Yeah. Okay, ah, it's not working. Uh, it's installed. Let's see here. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what could be the reason. Uh, let's go into JWT auth and GitHub. Okay, I think we need to use the version 1.0. Let's try using this one. Uh, I'll open up the project and go into my composer, composer.json, and let's update this one to be 1.0.0, and let's do composer update. Okay, let's clear the config cache. So clear config. And now we can try PHP artisan JWT secret. Okay, great. We have our secret. Um, I think we can go ahead and create a new controller for our authentication. So PHP artisan make controller will uh, be auth controller. And let's see what is the next step. Let's go into our installation. Um, okay, so um, we need to go to our user 
and make sure it implements JWT subject. Um, let's go into our user.php and implements JWT subject that we can use from here. And we also need to implement those two methods. So let's just throw them somewhere in here. Okay, next we need to visit our auth.php file and make sure that the API driver we use is JWT. Um, we've already um, we've already created an auth controller. We need those methods inside our routes slash api.php. There is one thing I would like to go over before we uh, just dump the routes inside the api.php file. And this is just to clarify that every request that goes into our server will go through our web.php file. All the requests, if it's a get, post, delete, patch, it doesn't matter, it'll always go here. But if you'll visit our routes service provider, uh, you'll see that we have um, map API routes. And if for some reason the, the routes that we are requesting from our server starts with API, so we are going to um, view SPA dot dev slash API slash something. Those routes will go into our route slash API dot PHP. So all the API calls we're going to make are going to have API prefix to them. Let's go back into our API dot PHP and delete this default route and add those. Um, let's just do a little bit of cleanup in here and I do need the middleware for API. Uh, actually, I don't because I already have it set up in our route service provider. We have middleware API, so we can remove this one. And we can save the prefix. So we'll have to do, if you'd like to log in, you need to do uh, view sba.dev slash API slash auth slash login. That will be the route. Okay. Um, Let's take the controller from here. Um, all the data, we can pretty much use everything because this is exactly what we need. Um, we can go to our auth controller and paste everything here. And there is only one method I would like to override uh, from the parent controller and this is the guard. So I'll do public function guard and this will take no argument and it will return the auth guard well sorry auth guard api okay next we need to make sure that we're using the auth api all the time so if we have auth here that's the same and the same here and the same in here and we can also send back the user once you're authenticated i would like to know what is my user data so i can just add another key in here called user and it will be this guard and this is the guard i'm looking for and i can add the user that's the same thing as doing this and just tagging the user from here as the same thing. I think we can try and test it out. But before that, let me just create a user. So let's do PHP artisan tinker and user view app user. User name is test user email And we also have user password. This one must be encrypted, so we can use bcrypt. That's an helper method we get from Laravel. And the password will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And finally, we just need to save the user. So user save. Okay, let's try. Um, let's try open up Postman. and do a request and I'll do a request to log in and this will be a post request 
and the data will be um, user, no, not user, email is test at uh, gmail.com and the password is going to be one two three four five six I would like to also add a header and this header will be the same as in our app.js not app bootstrap.js and this is the one in here and the value for this one will be XML HTTP request and the route is going to be HTTPS um, view spa.dev slash API auth login we get unauthorized for some reason okay let's try changing the text here to JSON and I think we need to wrap it in double quotes for both of them and let's try now and we have an error let's see auth not found it's somewhere in here we need to do auth and send again and now we're logged in great okay that was it for this episode we have jwg authentication setup and also a database with customers and users table uh, in the next episode we're going to set up everything else do the integration between our front end application to our api okay thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye